Good morning, Lakeshore, and welcome to the Shore and Report. I'm Eric. And I'm Cam, and today is Thursday, March 30th, 2017. Today is National Pencil Day. If you're planning on bringing someone to prom that does not attend Lakeshore, guest forms are now available in the guidance office. Forms are due Thursday, April 12th. Jostens will be here tomorrow during all lunch hours to deliver graduation announcements. HOSA is sponsoring a Pasta for Pennies fundraiser at our school. This helps the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. There will be a variety of events to help raise funds. There are boxes in the classrooms, just like this one, to put any hangs, change, or money you want to donate. Here is a video to help see how it helps. Spinal taps. What happens? I have to stop eating at midnight. And then? I go into the hospital. We go in, we wait, and then we go into a room, and then, and then the spinal tap happens. He loves sports, um, soccer, baseball, and he had done camps throughout the summer. And I remember giving him a shower one night and he had uh, bruises all over his body. And I called the pediatrician and she sent us for blood work on a Monday. And Tuesday morning I got a call at 6.30 in the morning to send us to the hospital. In the ER, I remember being pulled aside by the ER doctor and told that AJ had leukemia. Thank you for participating in the Collect for Cures program. You will be helping a lot of people with cancer. In fact, many of the people you will be helping are students just like yourselves. The money you raise will help the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society help find cures for cancers that are in the blood. Being part of the program is really touching. It like, seeing that like you're changing so many people's lives is like amazing. If I'm here in school, and we're in front of raising money for them, that I know that they're not out there alone fighting for themselves. The best part for me for participating is just knowing that I'm helping people. Well, there are different types of these cancers. Affecting the billions of red and white cells that make up our blood, cancer happens when the white cells that fight viruses grow out of control. When that happens, the body can no longer protect itself from getting sick. He couldn't run. He kept complaining of his stomach hurting, that he couldn't breathe, that he just didn't have the energy. Blood cancer affects more than just the blood. It affects the marrow in your bones and your lymph nodes, too. Did you know that there are nearly 1.2 million people living with or in remission from a blood cancer in the United States? There were so many setbacks, so many... There were so many hospital stays. For Grace, her mass was um, bulky in size, and so they um, decided that they were going to do about five rounds of chemo. When I used to get um, chemotherapy, some of the medicines used to not, and I didn't really feel that well. Okay, so how do you help? You are going to help kids and adults with blood cancers because the money you raise helps doctors and researchers find new medicines that can treat the cancer like immunotherapies that use the patient's own immune system to fight the cancer. We try to raise money for um, kids that have cancer and try to find a cure. You can raise money online. Every class will get their own fundraising page and every student can set up their own online page that is easily shared on social. My class, we will have like our own page and we raise money, everybody in the class shares a link. There are so many ideas on how to raise even more money we're also doing Chuck Your Change, where teen drivers, they could chuck the change from out their cars. By raising money, you can earn volunteer hours. There are also other prizes, like a limited edition t-shirt. You can even win a celebration party, too. We know that we're doing something important for other people, and we're getting a step closer to finding cures and making people's lives better. At this point in our journey, AJ is, um, what sports are you playing? Baseball and soccer. And he's in school, and we are still getting treatment, and there's a lot of hope. Not only will you be helping kids just like you who are sick, 
but you will be helping change the future of cancer treatment by helping researchers discover new cures. And most importantly, you get to be the reason someone lives. And that's the biggest reward. Thank you for all the schools that are participating in this amazing fundraising opportunity. Thank you for giving money and supporting people like our family uh, raise awareness and research money. We are grateful for everything that you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing. Yeah. Let's get a check on the weather, but first we're going to see who's celebrating a birthday today. Hey there, I'm Robbie here with the weather. Right now it's about 37. It says it's snowing, but I looked outside and it says it's raining and it's raining here. So yeah, it's gonna be a high of 30, 39 and a low of 37. So enjoy your day and please make sure our rainforests are protected. Have a good day. Hey Shoreians, I'm Catherine here with all the sports from around Lakeshore. Lakeshore Meadows is creating a miniature golf league. This includes five or six rounds per week and there are nine rounds per hole. The league is five weeks on Thursdays, April 13th, 20th, 27th, May 4th, and 18th at 3.30 sharp. It costs $30 and includes a t-shirt and year-end prizes. If you're in the league, you get free miniature golf during lunch. Any questions, see Mr. Mazzola in room 123. Today, the girls' soccer teams take on Fraser High School at Fraser with JV starting at 4 and varsity at 5.30. That's all for today. Have a great day, Shoreans. I just wanted to talk about how when I said hangs for this box, I meant chain. Through the Shores Student Athlete Scholarship is now in the Athletic and Guidance Office. Applications are due by Friday, May 12th. You must reside in either Lakeshore, Lakeview, or South Lake School Districts in order to apply. Seniors, are you thinking to yourself, how am I going to pay for prom and all night party? Well, you can make payments. Stop by the Guidance Office to find out more information. That's all for today. I hope all you Shoreans have a fantastic day.